Another step to ensure the survival of the African elephant population and to curb illegal trade in ivory. Host country Botswana, with the continent's biggest elephant population, was the first to endorse new measures. They include a zero-tolerance approach to poaching, immediate action against anyone implicated in the illegal killing of elephants, maximum sentences for wildlife crimes, enhancing law enforcement capacity across borders, and implementing new legislation classifying wildlife trafficking as a serious crime. Whatever country you are, whether it's because of your governance, whether it's because of greed, whether it's because of misappropriation of funding, whether it's because you're not putting your, 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 your resources where they should be, the time is now. But let me tell you something. Botswana is not going to wait with its hand out waiting for somebody to put money on the table for us to react to our anti poaching South Africa supports the measures but did not sign the memorandum. South Africa has limited number of killings that were faced recently and out of those we couldn't uh, determine exactly whether they were the real targeted animals. The European Commission will give 12,3 million euros to improve the protection of elephants, great apes and rhino in Africa. CITES will implement the program from next year until 2018. Wildlife trafficking is politically becoming a big issue globally, also in the European Union, knowing that it is an important issue also in Africa. Parties have until the end of the month to discuss and sign the agreement on elephant poaching. Lizette Labuskagny, SABC News, Gaborone, Botswana.